But what's interesting in our space of security testing is a very basic supply and demand problem. The demand for security testing has skyrocketed. When I was a CIO eight years ago, I only had to worry about my on-prem attack surface, my perimeter, and insider threat. Those were my primary threat vectors. Now, if I was a CIO, I have to include multiple clouds, all of the data in my SaaS offerings, my Salesforce account, and so on, mm -hmm. as well as work from home threat vectors and other pieces. And I've got regulatory compliance in Europe, in Asia, in the US, tons of demand for testing, and there's just not enough mm -hmm. supply. There's only 5,000 certified pen testers in the United States. So I think for starters, you have a, a fundamental supply and demand problem that plays to our strength because we're able to bring a tremendous amount of pen testing supply to the table. But now let's flip to if you are the CEO of a large security company or whether it's a consulting shop or so on, you've got a whole bunch of deferred revenue in your business model around security testing services. And what we've done in our past in previous companies I worked at is if we didn't think we were going to make the, month, the quarter with product revenue, we would start to unlock some of that deferred services revenue to make the number to hit what we expected Wall Street to or hit what Wall Street expected of us. In testing, that's not possible because there's not enough supply, except us. So if I'm the CEO of an MSSP or a large security company, and I need I see a huge backlog of security testing revenue on the table, the easy button to convert that to recognize revenue is Horizon Three. Mm 